This is what my physique looks like 98% of the year in unflattering lighting, no pump, nothing. Now let's fast forward 24 hours. I've trimmed my face, I've shaved, I even tanned, I set up some epic down lighting, did a bunch of push ups, and now this is what I look like. Create cool things. What's up friends? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. I've been quite busy the last month or so. And one of the biggest things I did was actually go to Austria with my wife, Allie, and we had a big job with Hyundai over there, but we also added a few days to the trip and explored around. And I actually put together a cinematic film from that trip. Man, I would love it if you checked it out. Click up above here and you can go watch that. I also wrote, produced, mixed and mastered all of the music to it as well. So yeah, it's definitely something I'm really proud of. Also. Really Really quickly, if you didn't know, my wife and I have a podcast. It's called Happily Stuck Forever and Always. We drop fresh new episodes every single Wednesday. And I think now is the time for you to come on over and hang out with us. We'd love it if you did. So I want to talk about something that I seldom see any other person talk about, especially within the world of fitness. And that's the idea of moderation and balance. You might be thinking, dude, this video already sounds boring. Well, before you click away, I want you to hear me out because the thing Things I'm going to share with you today might actually really help you and make you just a lot happier of a person. Have you been on social media lately? Of course you have, and so have I. And if you're on any kind of fitness algorithm, you're probably seeing some crazy shredded dudes or people doing extreme dieting stuff. And as you might've already figured out, extreme things on social media get freaking clicks. But as you just saw in my same day transformation, I look like a pretty normal dude. And this is why I wanted to make this video because I wanted to number one, show you guys realistically what I actually look like, but also remind you that when you're on social media, this can actually make you push yourself beyond what you're potentially capable of, especially if you're just trying to get your physique dialed in naturally. But you never see people wanting to talk about just a healthy, moderate, balanced lifestyle when it comes to fitness and nutrition and how we're all living our lives. The first thing here is to be able to set realistic goals. And this is why I showed you what my physique looks like in unflattering light, no pump, no push-ups, nothing, just a normal guy. So I really want you to keep this in mind when you're going to set your goals in terms of what does my physique actually look like when I'm going to get down to like 10% body fat, because this is literally what my physique looks like 98% of the year with me loosely tracking the food I eat and hitting my workouts. Keep in mind, I'm completely natural. I don't do any performance enhancing drugs. I never have. I never will. All of these types of drugs that might make you look really jacked and crazy are very unhealthy for you if you use and abuse them over a long period of time. Moderation also looks like taking rest days. Now for you, this might come easy, but my personality is always like 100% or 0%. That leaves almost no room to moderate. The Apple Watch is an amazing tool, but I found that because it keeps you so focused on hitting the move goals, it does become a little bit frustrating on the days where you don't actually hit those numbers because you're just trying to have a rest day. It would actually be kind of nice if the Apple Watch made room for a rest day in terms of your move Goal. But if you have a more aggressive move goal set, this is obviously going to make you have to push to hit it every single day. And this can just push you too hard. So make sure every single week you're padding in at least one rest day. Moderation also looks like limiting caffeine as well as alcohol or really any other substance that's going to keep you way too stimulated or it's harmful to your body. It's so important to remember how powerful a dosage of any of these things can be. For example, I hardly hardly drink anymore unless it's a social situation and I might have one or two drinks. One thing that I've put in place to just moderate my own alcohol intake is I never drink when I'm just here at my house on any given weekend because that will set me up for a weekly habit of going back to alcohol. And that one little tweak has been life changing in terms of learning how to moderate something like alcohol consumption. Also, I've talked about this one a number of times, but just make sure you're not dieting too hard. And this goes for a calorie 
calorie deficit as well as a calorie surplus. So if you're trying to lose weight or gain weight, you really don't want to be pushing these calories or lack thereof too far in either direction. The best approach to nutrition is one that is balanced, one that allows for healthy carbs, healthy fats, plenty of protein, and some extra treats here and there, but you're not just going crazy every day and then pumping yourself up with a bunch of performance enhancing drugs or binge dieting where you're eating a bunch of that crap and then the next week you're fasting for like four days or something. Do you know how hard that is on your body? You don't want to do these things. Now just a quick note, what I'm not telling you to do is half-ass your workouts. Don't freaking skip cardio just because Brian told you to moderate stuff. Obviously you want to make sure you're listening to your body and if you feel like you're injured or you feel like you need a rest day, do it. But if you're about to hit strength training or if you're about to hit some cardio, dude get after it. Don't just think you can do a quick set on bench press and then get on TikTok and fall into the scroll hole and then freaking here's another bench press. dude. No, stop that. Make sure there's intensity within your workouts and then obviously balance it out with rest and proper nutrition. You know this. Ultimately, your daily goal should be to reduce the distance between the highs and lows that you experience. And the less extreme highs and less extreme lows that you experience, the closer you get these, the more you're going to be able to live a much more balanced life. And the last thing you want is to be like a pendulum that's swinging way too far in either direction, because this just creates a much more volatile life and it sets you up mentally and physically for having to deal with way more stress, way more anxiety as well as way more depression and feeling unmotivated. If you can close that gap by doing some of these things I'm sharing with you, it will make such a huge difference in your life. And this is why this almost seems boring because us as humans seem to want to really experience these very high highs, but those always end up bringing you back down. And listen to me here, this is like the whole point of all of this. This is where you can find contentment and happiness out of your life. I want to be the YouTube channel that people can come to for fitness advice or life advice and hear a balanced message. And whether that's boring or not, or whether it gets not as many clicks or views as some other person's channel, I don't care. Because if you're watching this and you're able to apply some of these things, then that's literally all that matters to me. Well, thanks so much, friends, for watching this one. I hope you got something out of it. If you did, leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, now is the time. And all of the music that you hear in this video is from my music licensing business that I started, Mood Sound Design. So check the link in the description if you need freaking fire music for your videos that you're creating. Well, friends, I've got lots more videos coming your way, so stay tuned and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. If you didn't know, my name is Brian and if you have... <clears throat> <clears throat> that, that all sucked. Veins popping out of every possible uh where where do veins pop out of oh my goodness these allergies to lows and uh, not not the freaking home improvement store <sighs> man as soon as i start recording just allergies just exploding it's great i freaking love it wow these allergies are insane right now what's happening <laughs>